Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about Heron's formula. And with Heron's formula, you're able to calculate the area of a triangle if you are given three of the sides of that triangle. So if you have the three known sides of that triangle, you can use Heron's formula to calculate the area of that triangle. Now, Heron's formula is broken down into two equations. The first one we use to calculate the S value. Once we have that S value, we then plug it into this equation to calculate the area of the triangle. All right. So in the bottom right hand corner, I have a triangle drawn out. All right. And we want to find the area of this triangle using Heron's formula. So our first step is to find the S value, right? So if we look at this, A, B, and C, that's talking about your side lengths. Okay. So let's go ahead and plug this in. So S equals, well, A, what is going to be side A? Well, that's going to be opposite to angle A, so that's 175. So we get 175 plus side B, which is going to be 125, plus side C, again, opposite to angle C, will be 225. And then we're going to do divide by 2, right? So we're going to go ahead and plug this into our calculator. So we get 175 plus 125, plus 225, and then divided by 2. Okay, so S here is going to be the following. So S equals, we get 262, 262.5. Okay, so now that we have our S value, okay, we can go ahead and find the area of this triangle. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this. And we're going to use the following equation. So let's go ahead and plug in our values. So again, this will be fairly long. But let's try to fit it in right here. So we get area will be equal to the square root. Okay, and let's just go ahead and fill in our values. So again, S, that's going to be 262.5. So 262.5 times 262.5. Minus A, which is going to be side A, right, which is 175, times, again, 262.5, okay, minus side B, which is going to be 125, minus 125, okay. And I'm going to go ahead and just write it below here, because I'm going to run into our triangle. And we have times, again, 262. 5 minus, in this case, side C is going to be 225. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and plug this all into our calculator and see what we get. So plugging this in, we get the following. So we get the square root of, we're going to get 262.5 times 262.5 minus 175 times 262.5 minus 125, and then times 262.5 minus 225. Okay, and we get the following here. So our area of this triangle, so area of this triangle is going to be, we get 10,000, we get 882, and we'll just go ahead and round this, we'll say point, six, eight, and again, our units are feet here, so this is going to be feet squared, if we're talking about the area, right? So this is gonna be our final answer right here. So the area of this triangle, okay, is gonna be 10,882.68 feet squared. All right, so that is Heron's formula and how you can calculate the area of a triangle using Heron's formula. All right, and that is it.